kertokaa aina yes. eka, mitä mediaa edustatte ja nimenne. So first tell your name and which media yeah. you represent. Kimmo, mä annan sulle tästä ensimmäisen nyt. Moi, pitkästä aikaa. Moro. Tota, tässä kohtaa kysyä, että voitko oikein viittää? Sä sanoit tos, että sulla on joku ennuste. Joo, mun, mun ennuste oli itse väärin. Ah, joo, joo. Mutta tota, mut mun ennuste ei ollut mun favorite. Se oli mun ennuste. Ei mulla ollut favorite, niin kaikki oli ihan yhtä samalla viivalla. Ja ollaan tehty semmoinen allianssi tuossa jo aikaa sitten. Sebu joo. ei ollut kirjoitustöissä mukana kahdessa muussa biisissä, mutta hän silti otti tehdäkseen tämän koko homma. Ja joo, myöskin joo. se, että joo. ei mulla ollut. Mä oon pelkästään nyt onnellinen, että luku voi tää. Joo, ää, toi show. Kipä, nyt joo. taas kaksi kertaa tänään tehte, tehneenä, niin mennään aika lujaa ja ylpeänä eteenpäin. Hello, Adrian from Spain, ESCplus.com. I uh, have a question regarding the performance. Congratulations, guys. Uh, all the performances were amazing. Thank you. Uh, I told you now, it's something different from Poland last year. I think it's different and I think it's fresh and I think it's quite cool. You guys did a great job with the performance. How are you going to improve? for Tel Aviv, the whole overall show, because the stage is different. Do you have something in mind? Well, basically now we know which one we're gonna go with. I think we're gonna put the every last effort we got to that one song and just think about it. We, I think we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> okay, well, but we're gonna give it our all, give, you know. I'm actually quite happy what we did, but we're gonna pimp it out if we can and yeah. do what we can. I think, um, well, not I think, I am very, very happy how the uh, look away turned out. Every track was great today. Um, and right it now... It was, it was such a blast. No, Honestly, it was exactly. A, but it was right now, uh, I'm not saying we're not going to improve. But right now, I feel that we don't have to because it was good today. Mm -hmm. The only thing we need to do, really, uh, our tech team needs to get the, the stage uh, specs and everything, whatever we can use in Tel Aviv, and we're just gonna bang it a little harder. But I don't think there's a lot, you know, to change because we thought about this hard, and I think we're satisfied yeah. with what we got right now. So I mean, and we're I not think, gonna like. Yeah, no, we're not gonna change it. We're gonna maybe add a little touch here and there. Maybe change the singer or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, are you planning to do any pre-parties or any promotional tour? Yes, we are. I'm happy to announce. Can I do it? Yes, okay. We're going to do London, Amsterdam and, and Spain. Yay. Great. <laughs> yes. yes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> At least those. We there, there's a it's a tight schedule for the yeah. with the rehearsals and stuff for the spring, but those at least and uh, we're looking into other possible stuff still. But uh, I'll see you there. Yes, we'll yes. try to make it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, David Lindström, New York, Holland. I can take this in English because we have international press here. Oh, 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 on it, but you know, they, they have the name baby, but the boy, it's at the end of. Men, yeah, I'm professional, yeah, I try to be professional, so I, I am, hopefully. <laughs> so I didn't, you know, prefer anything before this show. I, you know, I give my best to everything and to all the songs, and um, this is just how it went. And uh, if he didn't, I would have heard it. <laughs> so <Really> bad. <laughs> I think I think. Men chance bra. Yeah. Men chance fakt is bra. The chance that you have you have nothing red. I mean, Svenska är inte så bra, men så. Tillräckligt bra. Yeah, I I think that Sebu um, gave his all on all the tracks, and I mean, I've worked with him before. I know the guy, so I I had no doubts on any of that. But at the same time, I think it's actually pretty damn neat that uh, he's there with actually a piece that he. Wrote. So, and I had a part of that missing his amazing rock sort of ballad half tempo thing up 
make it in a dance track and now we're in it together so that feels good I have one more question uh, in the first semi-final you are unlucky to compete against two other dance tracks Estonia and uh, Czechoslovakia have you heard them <coughs> songs and bring it on <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, honestly I think Sebo is of us the guy who um, it's not that he doesn't care but he I think he wants to concentrate on his own stuff I've actually taken a look I've seen uh, the Estonian one and it's a great track it, great it song. Is. I've great heard song. that one too. It's uh, a great track. And uh, music as a contest is weird for me. I know this is a contest, so it's not that I don't want to win. I want to, and we're going to do our best. But the whole point is, we're, we every country is going to uh, have great tracks, and we're going to see which style, which performance there, then it's going to take the cake. And. Uh, uh, one of the greatest things about it all, this is my first time in Eurovision, everyone else, like Krista Siegfried from our, uh, you know, camp, so to say, they've all told about this great Eurovision family, and we felt that right here in Finland right now, and we're going to feel it uh, in Tel Aviv, and that's one of our main things we want to experience. So, contest, yes, but party, even more yes. I have another question, guys. I don't want to go much into politics, but recently something happened in Ukraine mm -hmm. with the Ukrainian singer. Uh, the national broadcaster resigned to participate because they didn't reach an agreement with the winner of the national selection um, because of the conflict with Russia and Crimea and stuff. I know that it's something that comes into, you know, into the topic now, but what do you think or what would you say to this? There's terrible things happening all the time, mm -hmm. everywhere. And uh, honestly, my opinion is I, I saw the headline, right? But I didn't like read what's going on because I've been quite busy. <laughs> Sorry for that. But to be honest, I think we got politics, we got countries, we got borders and walls. Hopefully not in Mexico and America. So uh, <laughs> fuck you, Trump. <laughs> but uh, the thing is, what I think is that music and sports are the only real things that break borders mm -hmm. yeah. and tear down people. walls. So, I mean, we just want to do what we do and yeah. bring people closer to us. And so, I mean... I think we, we you know, we don't know that, for instance, the Ukrainian representative or who was chosen and now denied the uh, representation. It, it seems weird for us, but I don't think we have much say in that because we don't know the whole history, we don't know yeah. all that. Um, and it's always a delicate thing, we can't comment without knowing all the sides. So, uh, But I think one of the main things is music unifies people yeah. and that's why we're doing it anyway. There's no borders or walls in music or sports, so let's just have fun and bring the world together. Okay. I'm actually curious of one, one of the performances or the three performances, which was the one that uh, cost you the, less, the most of time to prepare and what was the hardest of all of them to prepare and all behind them? I think they're pretty equal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, for, for me, uh, Superman was the easiest in the sense that, <laughs> as silly as it sounds, but I was mostly doing a uh, couple of keys in a breaks and the intro and jumping up and down and sort of doing what I do when I do a DJ set and uh, not trying to pretend that I'm doing more. I'm just, in that song, I was just having fun. Um, the choreography for both uh, Release Me and Look Away was quite involved, but mostly for him. And I think uh, you got it down really quickly on both, uh, like the, the uh, moving walkway thing. And, mm -hmm. and uh, then technically, I don't know if, know if you need to know that, but the spinning the box turned out to be a little bit of a hassle in look away in the beginning when we sorted it out, so it's all good. I, okay. And I think it was a good choice that I don't dance in anything because I'm probably the Finnish worst dancer you've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, and I'm dancing very well with my feet in one place and nodding my head. <laughs> okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, uh, Linus Hoffman from Svenska Yle. Uh, what is it that does that just this song var den som var favoriten, både bland internationella juryn och i hela Finland. Vad var det som gjorde just den här? Jag tror att det var... Stod det var säkert hur det såg ut just nu när vi gjorde det. The visuals. Och sen tror jag också att det är igen... På något sätt 2019 så är det trendigt att vara politiskt 
aktivt. Så att kanske det är någonting som människor vill som människor tänker på just nu och det är helt cool att bara säga någonting vad du tycker. Kanske det är, jag vet inte. But at the same time I think that, uh, so, sorry again my Swedish is bad. Uh, you talk in English? Yes. Or oh, oh, <laughs> Finska, which do you prefer, but there are English speaking people. I think also like, uh, it's not, it's non-political, but it tries to bring up things that we could all think about. Yeah. You could you could point to different kind of politics, of course, but we're talking about just raising thought of whatever anybody could do better in their life, whether that's whatever. Well, the thing is not to preach, but the thing is when I've I've got a boy, he's like two years and five months now, and a girl who is almost five weeks old. And to be honest, when you think about the world, what's going on right now? Is and, it you, in my head? and you think what they're gonna do in 20 years, it's fucking scary. It is. If somebody asked me 20 years ago that what's going on in America right now, I would be like, no way. No way, man, no, it's gotta be liberal, it's gotta be good, everybody has their rights. But here we go. And now we go po political. Thanks for your patience. Look away, siitä showsta, niin tyylikäs show, ja näin niin jonkun verran ihmiset mietti sitä, että tota, sä oot siellä boksissa, niin aika paljon niin kuin pois näkyvistä. Niin mikä teidän näkökulma siihen, että äh, haluaisiko ihmiset nähdä enemmän niin kuin, niin kuin sua, vai onko se mietitty tarkkaan, että se menee näin? No ensinnäkin se on mietitty to- todella tarkkaan, mutta sitten toiseksi niin mietin sitä itsekin jossain kohtaa, kun työryhmä Tota, meidän tekniikka tiivistää ja, ja koreografit ja muut ö, tavallaan toi tämän ajatuksen, että meillä oli se niin kuin, tavallaan se boksi ja muu juttu, mutta sitten että se pyörii ja kuinka kauan pois sitä niin poispäin. Mutta tota, ö, sanotaanko näin, että mä en ole mun ruutuajasta niin mustasukkainen sen suhteen, koska se, se tarina toimii, ö, meidän upea tanssia etelä on siellä päällä ja sitten se tipahtaa sinne boksiin ja se kuvaa jotain siinä videossa ja se toimii. Ja sitten äh, tavallaan mulle pääasia siinä ensimmäisessä nostossa niin kuin tanssimusamaisesti, niin mä oon näkyvissä ja mä pääsen siihen haippaamaan ja näkemään yleisön livenä täällä. Niin sitten äh, niin kuin, sanotaanko, mun DI-näkökulmasta se tyydytti kaikki mun ne, mitä mä halusin siitä piisistä Ja sitten sen, sen takia niin mulle on fine olla siellä boksissa. Toki se on niin kuin, niin kuin sä, Bonga sit, niin se on vähän hassu konsepti toisaalta, mutta sitten myöskin niin, ää, mä oon ollut sen aikaa duunaamassa juttuja, että ei se ollut niinku semmoinen ego-kysymys, että onko mä näkyvissä vai ei. Mä tota on vähän, tota, mä, no mä sanon sen, mä puhun mä tota, väsynyt. I, I, I'm curious about uh, the, in, on internet, because this is a competition, and what feelings What are you feeling when you read all the negative? You get a lot of positive also in in uh, social media, but w- when you are in Eurovision, you are in a social media storm of opinions. Uh, how do you re- react to this? Do you read them, and, and what do you feel? I um, I'm an idiot. I do read them, and <laughs> I don't lose any sleep about that. But especially the uh, the. Um, the unfounded sort of stupid comments i don't understand like if you don't like my music or his or ours you don't have to but how do you find the negativeness and the time to go and sit on your computer post crap that i don't understand but that all, that's all a part of the thing too and i mean uh, not to pull the age or career card but i've been doing this for about 20 years now and I've gotten a lot of good and bad feedback and the, the main key is really to realize and understand that if you um, see negative feedback that's basically, uh, I don't know, 2% of the people making the most noise, the 98% of the people don't make noise and unfortunately that, that's not the, you know, that's, that's the positive stuff because especially Finns, we don't say what's good if it's, it's just quiet if it's good and if it's bad you go and no niin,
Can you guys send a message to the International Fund Committee on ESC Plus 